During the 20th century, the global economy developed enormously, and many international trade alliances, free trade zones, and economic tariff barriers were set up. Whilst this was fine for the countries concerned, this led to some severe trade protectionism, which in turn severely restricted the growth of commercial air traffic enterprises. Added to this, the escalating costs of aircraft and fuel, and the monopolization of the major air routes by the large national carriers, led to a general inability of the smaller air carriers to flourish. To survive, smaller organizations turned to the leasing of aircraft to minimize their costs. This meant that the whole issue of liabilities, insurance and safety urgently needed addressing. And this was recognized by the ICAO as early as 1948, through the Convention on the International Recognition of Rights in Aircraft. Leasing became defined as the situation whereby an aeroplane is used by one operator, whilst the ownership title remains with another operator. The following terminology is generally used with regard to the leasing of aircraft. Wet lease is when the leased aeroplane is operated under the Air Operator Certificate, AOC, of the lesser, the operator lending the aeroplane to the lessee. Dry lease is when the leased aeroplane is operated under the Air Operator Certificate of the lessee, the operator borrowing the aircraft. Leasing between JAA operators has become commonplace, together with the terms wet or dry lease, out or in. Permission must be obtained from the regulatory authorities to undertake such leases. Leasing of aeroplanes at short notice is permitted to ensure that air transport obligations are met. It is a given that permission is approved subject to the following conditions. The lesser holds an AOC issued by an ICAO state. The lease-in period does not exceed five consecutive days. And the authority is notified of the arrangement as soon as possible. The European Union, however, took the view that it needed to legislate for aircraft leasing arrangements independently of the international systems. EU signatories are bound by EC Council Regulation 240792, which contains all the provisions on leasing. Its declared aim is to harmonize policy to the highest possible degree. The World Trade Organization and the General Agreement on Trade in Services for Aviation, WTO, GATS, also establishes procedures that lead to the abolition of unfair practices and encourages growth in the global aviation economy. In 1948, the Council of the ICAO established Rights in Aircraft on Air Traffic. This relates to the international laws that concern ownership of aircraft and the rights of the lender or mortgagee and recognises ownership and rights of possession.